On behalf of MITS and my team, I would like to welcome everyone to India's regional meetup. So, opportunities are minimal. You seriously think so? No. Opportunities relevant to you are minimal. So when you get an opportunity, just grab it. Don't give a second thought. What will happen? What will, will it fail? So how can I say this so confidently, standing in front of all you guys? How can I say this so confidently? Because we were provided an opportunity. University Innovation Fellows. So what we learned, we learned a lot of things. Design thinking, lean startup, and all other things. But what's most important for me was lean startup. And then we have been to Silicon Valley. So the environment is totally different. So we have learned that space matters. So if I'm standing like this, if the chair is like that, it matters. Maybe if it's in a different way, I would be speaking in a different manner. So that's what we learned. So having got so much inspiration from them, so we just want to, so the best thing about inspiration is, it's not about getting inspired, it's about staying inspired. And the best way to stay inspired is by inspiring people. So how can I inspire people? So of course, there are some people who didn't go to Silicon Valley. They are there, first year students, they're very creative, I'm telling you. First year students, target on first year students, they were really very creative. So whatever things that we have learned, whatever the sessions that we had done, we were focusing on first year students. And we are making them learn. We didn't want to take the front seat and then drive everything. We just want them to do the things. Because when you do the things, instead of just being it one way, it gets imprinted in, in your mind. So they had creative ideas, okay. But then how do you bring out those ideas? Just provide a platform for them so that they'll get inspired. So they, so and again, so how do they get inspired and how do they stay inspired? By inspiring others. So they in turn inspire others. And we had something called DIA. So it's for entrepreneurs. Most of the entrepreneurs, most of the students, they're like, I want to be an entrepreneur. Okay, then what do you want to do next? How, how are you going to be an entrepreneur? No idea. So we didn't want people to have such abstract thoughts. So we just, what we did was, so we just made some sessions, provided some room, provided some space, and all those things, so that they can come up with their creative ideas. So lots of people, they wanted to be entrepreneurs, so we told them, just provide us some prototype, just put it in some piece of paper, what do you want to do? Don't just say, I want to do this. Provide some prototype. No matter how good your thoughts are, if you don't do a prototype, it'll fail. Mark my words, it'll fail. It's an out of experience. And then we also focused on Google's Android app development program. So one thing is, if you tell people there is an Android app development program, they're not going to register. So what do you have to do? A piece of advice. Don't tell them what exactly it is. Just show them the way. Make them discover what Google's Android development program is, instead of just saying them. Because if you just tell them this is the solution, they'll not listen to you. If you make them find the solution, they're like, oh my god, I found a solution for that. Then they'll be inspired, and they'll again inspire others. So my challenge for you is, how can you create teams and make their dreams work? And whenever I think of teams, there's one this analogy that I love. OK, all of you raise your hands, left or right, anything. OK, move your thumb, just thumb, and remaining fingers down, like this. Move your thumb, like this, yeah. Then move your index finger. No thumb, only index finger. OK. So when you are moving this, other fingers, they were just silent. So this has independence. When you're moving this, this is independent. But I want to grab something. I need all these things working together. That is teamwork. Thank you.